Hi everyone, I'm Katrina. I'm the treatment manager at Ned's Club Spa. Um, as you probably are aware, we're currently closed due to the current circumstances. So I wanted to share with you my at-home facial and how I've been looking after my skin um, during lockdown. So this is something you can do for your skin once a week until we are open again and ready to have you back for your regular treatments. So any product that I talk about during the treatment, if you don't have it, don't worry. Um, they can all be swapped out for whatever you have at home. Um, facials are designed to be bespoke to everyone's skin type anyway, so don't worry about that part. Um, so to start with, no matter what you're going to do, you just have to make sure that you double cleanse at the beginning of your facial, which I have already done. So cleansing just makes sure that your skin is nice and prepped for the treatment, removes any makeup obviously, and also any dirt and oil that you have sitting on the surface of your skin. So I cleanse with the Kahai Wonder Balm from Cowshed. Um, this is a balm based cleanser, but it's also a multi-purpose product. So you'll see me using it later on in the treatment too. Um, it has vitamin E in it and jojoba oil. So it's really nourishing. Um, and great if you have dehydrated skin like myself. So that's what we would start with. You then want to go on to your steaming. So obviously nobody has a steamer at home, but there are two really easy ways that you can still open the pores and make sure they're nice and ready for the rest of the treatment. Um, so either um, popping your head over a bowl of hot water. This is probably the easiest way just to make sure that your pores are nice and open. It's also a great thing to do if you have, um, if you're congested at the time, um, it's just great to open up the sinuses. So you can do that and pop a towel over your head just to make it even more effective. Um, or the other way of doing this would be using a hot compress. So these are really easy to do. You just need to boil the kettle again, pour or kind of soak a flannel in boiling water and allow it to cool a bit before you handle it, obviously. Um, and once you're ready, just wring out the most of the water so that it's not soaking wet. And you're just going to apply it like a hot compress to every part of your face that you're going to work on. So usually one side and then the other. Um, and hold it there for about 30 seconds to one minute. Um, again, this just has the same effect as the steam. It's going to make sure the pores are nice and open and receptive to the rest of the products that we use. Um, you can exfoliate um, after or before steaming. Um, I'm going to do afterwards because I'm using a exfoliating tonic today. So you can either use a granular exfoliator like our um, microdermabrasion facial scrub or something with AHAs in it. So AHAs are like your non-physical exfoliant and they still give the same amazing benefits. Um, of getting rid of dead skin cells um, and brightening the complexion. It's just down to preference and skin sensitivity as well. Um, so I'll show you how I use my exfoliating treatment tonic. So I just pop it in the palm of my hand. I prefer to do it with my hands rather than the cotton pads, otherwise it's just a bit wasteful. And I just press it into my face. So you're not rubbing it in like a cream, you're just pressing it in. So both cheeks, forehead and chin, neck, and the quality. So just pressing it in and then you can use your fingertips as well just to help make sure it's nice and fully absorbed. So patting it in like this. This just makes sure it's penetrated even further. Like that. So um, the next part of your treatment will be your facial massage. Um, so I'm going to use the cow shed rejuvenating facial oil for this. As I said, my skin is on the dry side, so this is really hydrating for me. Um, it's really nourishing. Again, got vitamin E in there, so it's just really hydrating. If your skin is more on the oily side um, or kind of combination, I would say the antioxidant facial oil would be much better for you. Um, it's just a bit lighter in texture and you're not gonna feel like you're adding too much oil to skin that's already got a lot of oil production of its own. You only need a little bit of this. Um, again, I'm going to pop it into the palm of my hand and just warm it before I apply it. And I'm going to apply it in the same way that I did with the treatment tonic as well. So to my cheeks, my nose, uh, my chin and forehead, my nose, 
my neck and the quality. So with um, facial massage at home, the most important thing you have to do is just make sure you're always working outwards and upwards. This really helps with anti-aging, um, but also, and something more importantly, with lymphatic drainage. So we're always working towards lymph nodes. If you're not sure on your face, you're always working towards lymph nodes, either just behind your ears, kind of behind the jaw, just in front of the ears, the uh, temple, the temples, and the top of the forehead. So you'll feel that in a facial as well. Your therapist will always work towards these areas. So it's great to get into the habit of doing that yourself. So it can be as simple as using your fingertips to uh, push towards these areas or using your knuckles as well is great. So either knuckle and thumb along the jawline, which is really good if you suffer from tension in your jaw, or you can even knuckle across your cheeks. So it's just a bit more vigorous than using the palms or fingertips. It's also great um, if you have one of these at home, a jade roller. Um, you can also get them in stone forms, which is what we use in the spa at work. Um, this is amazing for aiding in lymphatic drainage and brightening the complexion as well. I keep mine in the fridge, so it's nice and cold when I use it. And I would just use it in replacement of my hand. So again, working from the middle up and outward. So from my chin to my ear, mouth to ear, under my nose. And then for the forehead, you can work either towards that lymph node at the top there or across to the sides. Obviously, I would take my time with this step. It feels really good anyway. Um, so you're going to want to take your time with this step. But um, yeah, working for about 10 minutes at least to get the best benefits out of it. Um, if I was going straight to bed, if I was doing this treatment in the evening, um, you could either leave it right there and leave the oil on your skin. You could add a mask into your routine as well, depending on your skin type, choosing the best one for you. Um, but today I'm doing this facial in the morning. So I obviously want to prepare my skin for the day um, with a few finishing products. So obviously I'm going to leave that oil on my skin because it is adding lots of extra nourishment to my skin. But um, a product that I have been using pretty much every day, um, especially during lockdown whilst we've been at home more, I've obviously been spending lots of time outside, is my um, IS Clinical Super Serum. So this has got 15% vitamin C in it. So anything that you have at home with vitamin C in, I would really recommend doing uh, using during the day. Reason for that being is uh, vitamin C is great for helping the skin build a protective barrier against free radicals, which can be from things like pollution, things in the atmosphere, which we're generally only exposed to during the day. So you can use it at night, but you're going to get better benefits from it during the day. So I just apply this using the pipette that it comes with um, and dropping it directly onto my skin. Try not to touch my skin with the pipette itself, just so it doesn't contaminate it. And then one drop will onto my cheeks. A little bit goes a long way with the serum, so you don't need to use too much. And then a final drop onto my decollete as well. Again, you can tap this into the skin just to help it penetrate a bit further, just like we did with the toner earlier. And this will work a lot better now because we've simulated the circulation. The skin's a lot more receptive to active ingredients like um, vitamin C. So after having applied that, I'll go on to my eye cream. So I use this eye cream morning and night actually, but I usually do it really quickly. So if I'm doing a proper facial for myself, I'll really take my time with this step. So using my ring fingers on both sides, I'll just... Uh, dot it in really gently around my eyes and just really gently massage the eye area and um, you can do this for up to 10 minutes it's great if you suffer from puffiness so if you're doing this in the morning it's great you can be a bit more uh, heavy-handed on the top like where the eyebrows are but under the eye just be really really gentle um, and just making sure you're not applying too much pressure so like I said, I would 
work around the eye area for up to 10 minutes just to reduce any puffiness, improve the circulation and also help prevent any fine lines and wrinkles that may be around the delicate eye area. Um, as I said, I'm going to be spending time outside today so I need to make sure that I finish off my routine using SPF. Um, so my moisturiser has an SPF of 30 in it so that's, that's enough protection. If your moisturiser doesn't have um, a minimum of 30, I would definitely say put an additional SPF on top of your daily moisturiser just to make sure you're extra protected, especially with the weather as it is at the moment. And again, just apply this in the same way that we did the um, facial oil. So upwards and outwards, it just gets you into a good routine of always doing it and then you're never going to be dragging your skin down or kind of pulling at it in any way that we don't want. Like that. And the forehead as well. Like so. So once that's applied, I'm actually going to use my Kahai Wonder Balm again, which as I said is a multi-purpose product, so you can use it for lots of different things. But I always like to finish my routine by just popping some on my lips. It's a really nourishing lip balm which lasts a long time and if I was going straight to bed I'd apply it to my cuticles as well so you can use it for your cuticles that's why it's a great um, traveling product too um, so that's a great way to finish off your routine. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little mini facial at home I hope you maybe learned something um, and yeah I hope you're all keeping safe and well and I can't wait to welcome you back to Ned's Club Spa when we open again. Bye!